Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're continuing the Roguelands Gauntlet, the one life challenge. All Vault Hunters through the Roguelands without dying a single time. When we die, we restart. We only have one death so far. We've been doing a pretty good job, I think, at taking our time through these zones, playing it the right way, and honestly playing to the strengths of our characters. Now, Salvador should be, oh my gosh, off the rip in a vengeful infinity. My luck in the last one was good too. What did we learn in the last run? In the last one, we learned that always open up chests on tier one. Because tier one can have some of the best weapons for you. Maybe the infinity can carry us for a little bit here. It's got a really fast fire rate with a decent damage number. I'm okay with a a slag pistol that takes up some ammo because my infinity won't take up any ammo whatsoever. A fire apparatus could be nice. A corrosive doll pistol. I think, I mean, we are geared to the gills as far as pistols go. And, I mean, pistol damage is one of Salvador's strengths. Wow, let's see. Uh, I don't like either of those options. Let's, let's hope that this chest up here has something good for us. Maybe a pistol damage class mod so i would like to use this vled of infinity don't even get me started on the borderlands movie which i'm i think oh you know what i think we might since the pistol damage from i'm your huckleberry doesn't apply to your left hand anyway i feel like it could be a good idea just to go band smg for slagging purposes so we go band smg for slagging purposes vengeful infinity we'll do a corrosive weapon to deal with armor so some armor shred. And then we just gotta make sure we know what we're dealing with. And one point. Oh, we can't put any points in. That's right. Because this is Roguelands proper instead of Roguelands main. Let's get out there. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. I, I just really like playing original Roguelands so much that I will find ways. Oh, nice. Those are some nice pistol options. Because we just got that really nice flat off TMP. I almost feel a need to just slap it on with our infinity pistol. And we just go double pistol jammer rammer. You know what I'm saying? I will I will always find excuses to come back and play vanilla roguelands. I still think it's the goat roguelite. That's the th crazy thing about it. Like, there are other good roguelites, but at least for me and my channel, like, this is the one where there's no other content creators in the space. I was here when it launched, you know? I like. I was here at this very beginning of it, so I don't get left in the dust by the, the content wave, you know? This is... I'm still in my content wave, which is sick. Let's see here. Team Bullet Regen, plus 6 to lay wage, which is really good for fire rate, and plus 5 to 5 or 6 shots. Might be good for the long term. Magazine size could be good for the long term. A sorry full... We got plus 5 my shot on this one. And let's see. Hard to kill on asbestos. I actually think, honestly... Ooh, which one of these was better? I teed your grip on that Hyperion Shock, and I'm not going to take that. So let's put one point insight, since we already are rocking with it. And let's go four points hard to kill. When I watch Jolt's dude play a, a Salvador run. Ooh. This is the one right here. It's crazy how good Salvador's class mods are. I was watching... Jolt's dude talk. He was t doing some a random video. I forgot what it was, but he had some gun zerking roguelands in the background, and he went right side skill tree first. Or maybe it was. It might have been the video where he was showing off the a new roguelands update or something like that. I'm gonna try to you know see if I can learn something from that. We're gonna take a singularity, but mainly we're interested in this lobbed incendiary transfusion. 1.2 second fuse time. The amp shield, I'm not too interested in it. The Nova Blast actually sounds something interesting to us because we can kind of start aggressive and then use the Nova Blast aggressively. Yeah, let's do that. Good, very good. Another launcher. Okay, final chest, then we can head on out. Any chest could have that. Can have that gun. I think a Rocketeer is actually good, though. No. Isn't this actually good? I feel like it's like the cannon. 
It's going to do explosive damage, and I have an auspicious raider. Or cocky raider. Excuse me, so I full accuracy, so I should short the accuracy portion of it, yeah. It still sways quite a bit, but I think it's quite a, quite a bit better. Maybe we should rock this for a little bit. I don't have the money shot, though, to go with it. Yeah, and it's a an area where I need corrosive damage. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to slap on Bandit SMG. I'm going to go Pistol Gun Damage. Explosive Damage because I have the Explosive Nova Shield. Go to my number one slot. And get started. If they break my shield, I will do a Nova Blast. Big Nova Blast coming in. Give me a little bit of CC. Thank you. And my shield's regenning. Perfect. Go. Infinity doing a lot of good damage for us. Being a little bit flanked here. I have a a fire grenade, which is not the best for the situation. Let's see you later. Ooh, that's bright. Very bright. I should probably swap to my slag. Oh, never mind. It's not reloaded. Swap to slag, then come back. Maybe that's more efficient. Probably over the long term it is. And it's a madhouse. It's fire. It's 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 good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But it's not good right now. I'm not gonna put it on. Getting flanked by a hot loader. This is not not what I envisioned in, in my future. This is a bad situation. I think we slag bag tag tag. Here we go. Make the, the honestly not so bad. We got flanked by a hot loader. It is what it is. Okay. Got the vault symbol. Fight for my lifetime. Might need that. <laughs> Based on how I'm playing. A rubberized slag transfusion. Now that's got a little bit more. A little bit more versatility. It's rubberized, which makes it not so bad. But at the end of the day, I feel like a rubberized a lot of time is the best. Okay. Definitely going to take some extra shield stuff. Or extra HP from adaptive shield. We just So we can use this slag transfusion to slag up our enemies now. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's do a, the fastest possible farm of the stage that we can do. Turtle. Don't want turtle. Absorb. Absorb sounds nice. What's the, what's the chance? 26 now. 35 is the number to beat. That's the highest I have seen. It's a bandit launcher. I think it does take the, take the spot for now. Red chest me. Slag Gorilla doesn't sound like a very good weapon. That super low damage. I'm not sure how much... Fire rate it has, but what do we got? A Snyder. Okay, we take that Snyder. The, those chests look so bright. I must have some sort of graphic setting on. Oh, can I jump up here now. Yes, I can. Okay, juice me up, Buttercup. That is amazing. We got ourselves a Ravager. Let's take a look at the the grip. I think it might be TDR. Which is not ideal. Let's check it out, though. No, it's matching grip. Bandit grip. Hyperion stock. No, that's not Hyperion stock. That is TDR stock. Either way, the blade isn't so bad, but the matching grip is nice. Explosive damage goes very well on Salvador. Okay, I think as far as right side's go tree, I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done for now. And <clears throat> locked and loaded. Let's roll. And that can just rock some Ravager for now. Rock some Ravager. And explosive damage will be our, our go to. What else do we want here? Team magazine size. Plus 49%. I think if you're going to rock a Ravager, that's going to be a go-to. Because now I can get five shots off. Three. No, four shots. Four shots. Because it consumes four ammo per shot. Got it. With the explosive damage, like, it just has a lot of synergy with what we're going for right now. Here we go. A little uh, juice host candy. Nice one shot. I'm taking a corrosive dot, but that's okay. One thing that Axon has that's kind of nice 
is the explosive damage resistance on his grenadier com which allows you to use explosive damage at close range Salvador doesn't really have that we take a pushka might be our best option grab this bad boy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah spawn in we go and we get to actually use the blade on our weapon chop you down we go and last one very sick speed farm all right a tdr smg meant for chucking and hyperion smg meant for corroding okay fire burst is good we definitely take it corrosive cloud is good we're gonna need both those now corrosive cloud not as important because all of the horde rounds every single one of the horde rounds is fleshy enemies Okay, a scatter gun. I can shoot it four times. Bing, 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 bing. I think I take that Diab as well and the Emerald Sniper. I can shoot it four times. Even more than that, probably. Five times? I just don't know if that's going to be better overall damage than to say a quad. But I might give it a shot. Like, I don't really give the scatter guns a chance a lot of times. So. Okay. We got ourselves a a slag snider and a tdor fire smg so much my, my chuck stuff is looking pretty good so this grenadier i don't really like the trajectory of the grenadiers but the spitter assault rifle yeah yeah okay so the spitter assault rifle is gonna matter a lot let's go one mm, mm, no let's keep going down this left side skill tree Weapon swap speed and critical hit damage with all weapons? Yeah. Okay, we head out. Critical hit damage with all weapons is an important stat. I don't know the exact numbers on it, but the weapon swap speed is also important, so... Against rats, I'm not going to go around trying to... Trying to... Hit them with headshots with the Jacob's shotgun, but maybe this is the time where this is the weapon that can... That can shine. There we go. Let me get some of those critty crit crits. The left trigger for, for staggering. Now we got these rubberized slag grenades, right? So as long as they get close, they'll start doing their jobs. I'm trying to see how much damage. I mean, honestly, I'm going to say it. This, this scatter gun's not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like the fact that you, know, you pull the trigger four times. You're getting about the same amount of damage as the quad, I think, within those shots. Let's also rubberize over the wall because I'm, I'm just that beast. Can't let this guy get to me, though. Out of Grenages, but the heal juice will come back. Not having Gunzerk is a, kind of a big deal at this point. Don't let this guy get to me. Then with another grenade. There we go. Okay, let's break, close the distance on this guy a little bit. There we go. All right, what do we have over here? Some more TDR Chuck type style weapons. I have a spitter I want to try out, but I want to get money shot first before I do it. So that way when I slap on the assault rifle, class mod, it's like I'm, I'm already ready. Oh yes, a corrosive fastball, which look at that. That's great, great. It's going to turn our grenade into an actual uh, spell. That's going to do some uh, some damage. All right, brain number one. Also, I have I have reload on Star because I was playing Gage and stacking Anarchy, which, by the way, if you didn't see the last video, we now have a way to keep Anarchy between tiers. It's a mod called Keep Anarchy. Who would have who thought? <laughs> but that is going to be a new tool that we can use. By the way, is there such thing as a multiple projectile synergy? Let me know in the comment section. Um, because I like the synergy, right? But I don't think it has multiple projectiles. All right, shoot brain number two. Ow. Head on up. So I I still think out of all the the shooter roguelites. Especially first-person shooter roguelites that this is the best. That looks like a fable tortoise 
Okay. Movement speed increased when depleted, but it decreases my max health by a million. And I only have 2.1 million health, and that's with an adaptive shield. But I get bonus movement speed. I don't know. Muckamuck with that much damage just seems pretty insane. Lob slag bouncing Betty. I think the bouncing Betty is good for slagging purposes, but just allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Rosa Fastball. Yes. One shot. Let's go. And you drop me a Rex. I don't really use the Rex very much. But I have a slot. Its damage is 1.2 million with a terrible fire rate. I could always do this number to increase it a little bit. But it must have a large crit multiplier or something. Another Snyder that is a blue, a rare instead of an epic purple, which I think I already have. Ooh, I thought with this Raider class mod, if it was plus six months, I would have gotten really excited. But either way, now we have a Berserker class mod. With Lay Waste, which is okay, we kind of prefer Yippie Kaye in that slot. But if we ever do want to go middle skill tray, you know, and extend our gun Zerk time, now we have an option for that. So we have a Lob Transfusion here, but it's only times four pellets. That makes it worse than your standards. I'm st this one right here is a 0. 0 second fuse time and it's longbow that becomes our new transfusion of choice even though it's not slag i still think with uh, the amount of slag options we have i don't think we'll need to have a slag grenade okay so our next five we're gonna go throw one on the money shot and switch over to the cocky raider and what other skill does a buff locked and loaded that is perfect thank you very much we can put all of the points into money shot and then it's assault rifles. It's like you don't really need to go assault rifles. I understand this. This much I know. But I'm spec for it. So it give, let me let me have some fun. So there's my spitter to blend with my explosive damage. A fastball grenade. That's nice. And is there any other assault rifle I want to try out? Mm, let's just stick with these two for now. And shoot the last brain. Almost forgot. Tag. Tag. Homing fire burst. We already have a fire burst. An adaptive shield with... Mm, I would actually say slightly better stats. Because it's because it's less capacity. And bigger delay. I don't know. I think that this is better because it'll go down faster. But it might come up more. I don't know. To be honest with you. All right, let's roll. Let me go right back to mobbing. It's it's, it's a oh yeah oh it, it's a it's oh it's a boss round in the middle of these. Well, I just equipped. Let's get down to the money shot. Make sure we hit it. Not that much damage against these guys, but we do have this weapon, which even though they are immune to fire, should still do okay damage. Right, surely. This damage, is this pitiful or am I, I, mean, I don't think the madhouse is doing anything or whatever it is, the saw bar. Is it the saw bar or the madhouse? Which one am I shooting? The madhouse, got it. I think the saw bar has that explosive capability. Let's go to the Torgus rifle. I mean, I think this kind of should be good. It's going to get it kicking a little bit. I seem to get its fire rate up. I think what I'll start with is a reload, right? A one bullet reload. That, was, that should get me going. Oh! Now that's a weapon. Um, yeah, let's swap to this bad boy. Oh my. There, kiddo. There we go. Let's, let's do a quick reload. That will get my fire rate up. That'll help me get past the slow phase of this weapon's. We want to keep inside up when we want to reload. So we take a little bit. We walk forward a little bit there. 
take a little bit of damage as the reload's going. You want to take a little bit of damage as Gunzerker. So that way your reloads can be faster. With Insight up. Insight also gives you movement speed. Just a really nice skill overall. Okay, we're going to do a one-shot reload as we approach. I do want to get the loot on the far end here. The Scorch is going to have to wait. Does this trigger Scorch's spawn? Doesn't look like it. Scorch, of course, spawns on the other side over there. Okay, I'm going for it. This 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 chest should be packed the gills with with sick loot. Okay. There might be Easter eggs and stuff on all these maps. If people know where the Easter eggs and stuff are, if you still play Rogue, okay. If you st if you still playing Rogue Lance, tell me where the the spawns and stuff are. And I'm really sorry about what I just did. I'm ashamed of my words, and my deeds. To be honest with you, let's get a reload going. And let's get our spitter up to full speed, and let's try to see if we can kill Scorch with it. We're shooting right into its shell, which might not be the best option. Why don't we just stop messing around here? And if we're not gonna, if we're not going to just use kill Scorch the right way by playing against it, uh, her mechanics, then at least we got to bring a gun strong enough to get the job done. By the way, I believe a Scorch is supposed to always drop. Unique. And unless I missed it. I might have to start running that mod that teleports all the all the loot right to right in front of me. It might be what I do. Anything? Anything? Four Jacob's pistols? The game is the game is literally trying to tell me something. That is crazy. Okay, a shock twister, a law, and a stink pot. Okay. The twister is a build around. It's a total absolute build around. Very sick. And then we I would say. Gunzer can fight for your life. I'm not really built around Gunzer because my problem right now, but. I kind of want to go lay waste. My problem now is I don't have enough points in insight to really make the reload speed better. Let's let's juice this up a little bit. And then go a little bit of lay waste for the extra fire rate. Kill skill fire rate. I think that's good. To the wrist yards. Alright, so let's let's take a little bit of damage. Do a one-shot reload. It's much faster now. Get a kill. And now the fire rate should pick up a little bit. Go. And I can land criticals with this weapon. Blue enemy over here. Blue spider rent. Here we go. What do you drop me? Hammer buster. I really do think the Hammer Buster is a great weapon. Only problem. Only problem is that it does not benefit from fire rate bonuses. Now, I don't have to build fire rate. I can I can swap it. I'm a, I should have enough money at this point for a respec. Okay. Which, who's over here messing with me? Actually, I kind of want you alive because you could potentially make me more spider ants, right? But... At the end of the day, it's about getting through this the round. Oh, a, a new a new Gunzerker skin customization. En fuego. That I don't have. That's sick. En fuego. Let's drop some of this stuff. Hey. Not cool. Never seen this before. These guys are, are surviving after the round's over. Hey, bud. No, no. Come with me. No, seriously. You good? Come, in, come into the sun. <laughs> Dude, this guy's so funny. Whoa! 
You good, homie? <laughs> I love this guy. He's my new best friend. Go ahead. Hey. Love you. All right, let's move on. Rubberized slag transfusion. Do you think that's good? That's good for us? I think he wants me to take it. Like, by the way, did you see that new skin you got? Yeah. Actually, this is uh, him being here is great because watch. He procs my insight and blue, I go even faster. Thanks, bro. Oh, and dude, we got a slag droog. Let's go. Hey, you good? He's like, no, I'm outside my leash range. What is your leash range? I'm not too sure. The procreator, though. That's the, that's the enemy you want. It's these bad it's these bad layers right here, I think. Okay. Assault rifle damage plus 32% is good. The explosive damage is more valuable as a damage value if I can if I can implement it. Let's say an ogre being maybe my my best available option for me. Or even, oh, and a fire droog. We have options on options. All right, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna hit the hit the pressure plate, but I got. I think I'm gonna have to see you later. Ooh, that looks nice. Quartz spinning gun. Nice fast fire rate. Only problem is I need to be reloading. I'm a reloader. And bandit does not synergize with that. But it, but it can it could kind of replace my. But, a madhouse. I'm sorry, for a better player and a better time. Oh, can I get the grenade damage now though? I think I'm sticking with fire rate. I think I'm just that guy. So okay, while gun zerking is in the process of cooling down, you gain bonus gun damage, melee damage, and grenade damage. That's the one I want. Because I can scale the spitter with that. How about we do something like this? Where... When... This can be how we design the class. I'm going to start off with some gun zerk. Pow, 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 pow. Infinity plus... Infinity. And I can go Ravager here as well. And do the same thing. Why don't we? Why don't we? So in the beginning of our gun zerk, we're not going to be getting um, our assault rifle accuracy bonus. When gun zerk is over, I'm then going to be getting the spitter going. Okay, that's going to be kind of like my three spot. That's going to be what it's for. I'm I'm having no slag right now, but slag is not the be all end all in in roguelands. We we should know this by now. We got ten out of five in money shower, hoping to make use of that. While guns are in the process of cooling down, you gain bonus gun damage, melee damage, and grenade damage. I'm scale I'm getting both the grenade damage into my damage formula and the gun damage. So I think we are just about set and ready to I knew I didn't farm that chest. Oh, I would, I don't want to be, be embarrassed to go back to the same spot again. Let's go. That looks really nice. Let's see. It's grip is Jacobs. It's stock is Tior. It could probably be better. I think isn't Jacobs grip good? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Everybody, focus up. Everybody, focus up. We can do this. Start off with a couple fastballs. Actually, this would be great. Okay, we're gonna maybe lean a little bit heavy on Grenages here. Thank you for the Grenage. Yeah, we might, we, have, we might have to call an audible. Actually, I'm not too sure if we need to call an audible right now. So now we go to the spitter, and I don't die. Dying is not on the menu. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Go to my bandit launcher. There's no reason to play this the hard way. And then we're calling a total pivot. Total pivot. This is one of the hardest stages in the game. We need slag on slag on slag. I forgot that I have this twister. Get this twister out here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then... I honestly... 
I would like something that makes me tankier. <laughs> Guns are can make me tankier. But I think I, I want the money shot. And what we need is some slag. So I'm gonna do some slag going here. With the ba I kind of want the bandit SMG in the situation or the stink pot. Stink pot is gonna be great for the situation. Okay, might go down here again. That's okay. How low is this person in front of me? The stink pot also gets grenade damage scaling. Oh, would you look at that Pyrex coming in clutch? He gives me fire rate. I want something with fire rate and ammo regen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see how much those guys are not messing around? That's what I'm up against here. Do you understand? Completely wasting my Pyrex candy. Is what it is. Why I'm not just drop reloading, the world may never know. But this stink pot coming in so clutch. There, kiddo. Oh, that is toxic. The constructor that resists grenade damage. It's, a, it's the ultimate challenge. Y you know what? I think I might go to settings and go back. And go back to the old ways to the original original settings clear enemies on a round end no hopefully that doesn't crash the game here i know it's a different game but it's a i think it's a little bit better that way a little bit better more challenging for one and i don't think i actually have to kill this guy but that's the that's the best part of it. The the best loot a lot of times is locked behind the boss of that stage. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have to kill the boss of this stage, oh run ender. Run ender decision right there. He resists. He resists. Okay. What's our strat? What's our strat? I think slag has to be involved in our strat strategery. Our strategery. <laughs> Let's go a little bit of bandit on that front. I think this thing pocket still be a, a one alpha. Let's try that. Nope, I meant to go to these guns. Oh my gosh, that was so clean. Y'all see that swap? Hope this guy is slagged up. I really can't tell if he is. Go for the head. Oh man, I'm out of grenades. Oh, there's so many enemies I could kill. You know what? That's that's the decision that we can make. Oh, oh, run. Destroy this ion loader. Destroy the ion loader. Destroy the word loader just in time. We get F2 and we just get out. Oh, first we get a reward. Then we hit F2 and we leave. That's our decision that we can make. We don't... The loot on the stage... Are you kidding me? I was going to say. If it's Mad Mike, I'm done. If it's Mad Mike, I'm absolutely finished. Let's go a little bit of melee action. Yeah, you want some of that sauce? Didn't think so. Give me my five points, though. Okay. We now... No, we have no kill like overkill. And I think I, I just need to get the twister out here. Once I get the twister out here, then I'll be good to go. Jacob Shoddy on the small map. All right, is everybody good? The Twister has insane damage values, which makes it an insane weapon. And when you just, when you add money shot into that mix, it just becomes like a, a real force to be reckoned with here. Hopefully I don't die with it. That would be really upsetting. And all these guys are pro known to be runawayers. But no kill like overkill takes my da overkill damage and turns it into damage on the next enemy. Which is really, really nice. 
but there's one thing oh i don't get god mode status so on certain enemies like certain bosses become really really tough if you don't turn off the clear enemies on round end or if you do turn it off like i am right now this i think the hulk the titan class mod just sounds like it's really strong giving you that extra stats for defense but let's be in a magazine size sounds really good as well i got all got was tank class mods that's sick i mean this is sick okay we got a long rider it's only two magazine size it's a single barrel i i just don't know if i can get behind it Yeah, so now we, now here comes the question that everyone is asking. When are you going to incorporate Gunzerking into your permanent playstyle? And the question remains unanswered because I don't know. Just don't know. I think Gunzerking is the future, but I really like the bus that can't slow down. Increase your movement speed while Gunzerking. That makes Gunzer really strong. You compare it when you plus, like, give you stuff like Asbestos. I'm the Juggernaut for mobbing. It's like, yeah. This is more of an engine. This is more of the engine that could that could help you out. And you're probably saying like you should probably take a point and down out out, which is true. I mean, I will. Let's do magazine size, which is which might have been a waste if I'm using just this weapon, because now I don't get access. Oh, because I turn off that setting. Now, I don't get access to the super speed on round end. See, I'm, sm I'm slow. And I really like the super speed. Maybe I'll get it after clearing some of these guys. I'm not sure. So, I know that jolts and... And Pyrex said they were, you know, that, that was going to be the last patch. But I, I think there is a patch that we could maybe see. That could be a quick, easy one, hopefully. I don't know how long it would take. To change some of the requirements for the rounds until, like, some of the requirements for how many enemies you have to kill on, on a stage. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I think it's really similar to the one I have now, just slightly different. Plus six insight? What is mine? Plus six locked and loaded. I mean the plus six insight one. I mean that's a that's a gimme gimme. Absolute gimme gimme, I think. Same stats. Wow. The Vengeful Raider, I think. The Vengeful Raider class mod seems to be the best one that I could think of. But I think there's one that's plus six money shot, right? Is it called the Auspicious? Is that the one I'm looking for? Let's go ahead and smack this. We might have to do some... I'm known... I'm prone to do a lot of... Re-attempts for skill points on salvador because there's just so many places to put your points on sal you know what i'm saying by the way there should be a vault symbol in a pressure plate here this is a mobbing round yeah there's our vault symbol max health 50 percent that makes a lot of sense to me and uh, maybe not right away but actually probably right away But where is the pressure plate on this map? I know where the pressure plates are on almost all the maps. This one eludes me. So I, I'm going to do the classic. I'm going to pause. And I'll see you guys in a second when I find it, whoever it is. Whoever, whoever hit this, whoever chose this location, is an evil individual. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I cannot find this thing. I found a lot of a lot of things. Come on. 
All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep looking. I'll see you guys in a sec. Every time I come back to this vault symbol as a reminder of like, mobbing rounds have both. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotta be here somewhere. Under the stairs, behind the, the pipes. Look places you've never looked. If you look everywhere, you'll find it. But I'm just like thinking to myself, I've looked everywhere. Have you looked everywhere, everywhere? They can make it kind of small. And it's and it, and it's really getting on my nerves, <laughs> to be honest with you. Where is this thing? Like, that's a pretty thorough search of that section. Sometimes hidden behind these chests. Hmm. Big purple ooze man. Okay, well. If anyone knows where it is on the stage, you let me know. I I don't know. I, I don't have the faintest idea of where it could be. You know? Alright, so we're going we're going next. Sometimes I find them in the weirdest places. Okay, I don't think Sandman's a good matchup for me, to be honest with you. I dink him with some slag. Okay, we did dink him with some slag. We have fastballs to deal with the situation if we want to, and then we will. There we go. What do we get? Explosive Kiss of Death. We're just going to take it just to get the extra fastball. Oh, I might have tossed the fastball at point blank range, and there's no enemies around me. So why we always bring a bandit launcher is a when in doubt, shoot it out. Back weapon. Where is Sandman? There he is. Hit him with one. Back up. Launcher shot. Hey, we splash. Does it do the job? It does. Six. Okay. Like, why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? You can like, literally run, run around and do trick shots with these bad boys. Enemies just go. They disappear. So I think a... So the first patch, and I know I'm going to always ask for patches. If you just get... Now, how about this? <laughs> Give me the tools to patch it myself. And I will add the patch into the game. Um, I would increase the amount of enemies per stage that you have to kill, depending on the stage. It's a, really, it's a stage to stage thing. S sometimes I think it's timed really, really well. Like... The skag stage where there's the skag pool when you jump down off the cliff and the pressure plate is inside the little shed on the right hand side and there's no vault symbol because you can't get a vault symbol on that map for some reason because there's no texture i'm locked in you know what i'm saying like i know i have the knowledge i fell to the brim last longer is going to be our first gun zerking specific um, skill and and that's a, it's a really strong one at that let's go ahead and shoot our shovels it's tier one if we're not shooting shovels on tier one i don't know why we really would even be playing this game people are saying what are you doing like it's a few 42 minutes in and you're shooting shovels um you don't know that's that's the thing you don't know what we've been through not necessarily on this challenge, but in this game. It would be a really nice option if I didn't already have a better option available to me. It's the same version of this longbow transfusion with a shorter fuse. So. A little bit of parkour as well. Because up here, you know, we could we could get a Rough Rider. Don't go Rough Rider. Do not go Rough Rider. I might go Rough Rider if I get it. Rough Riders are built around. Oh. So people are thinking, oh, so you're just, you're literally just gonna. Arm every red chest because every single red chest could have a rough rider. Yes. I actually don't know if that's true, right? Can the, can the rough riders even f spawn from red chests? Or no. Incendiary? 
corrosive slag and non-elemental really really close to being perfect against dragons but to me these look like insane stats i'm gonna equip it and then okay okay i think here's what we do now this is going to be a pretty insane strat so you guys are going to be here for some insane strats you understand but for tier one depending on, on what we face we could have some very very good things for the dragons i already have a strategy in mind i'm the goat this guy i only have one strat blow him up it's gonna be so easy is it it's just it's gonna be just how do you guys want to do it how should we do it the ravager boom later yeah salvador's a boss killing machine and there's a triketra we could go full-on deputy i'm not against it at all i will take an elephant gun for like the memes of you know, when I was a kid, the elephant gun was one of the cooler, coolest weapons, I thought. Oh! Ah, uh, it's a Slayer of Terror purpose. Okay. Well. We'll leave that right there. <laughs> On the ground! <laughs> it's not coming with us! Oh my gosh. Okay. Killing enemy causes every shot fired to have a chance to add ammunition into the magazine instead of expending ammunition. That sounds really good. And I, I want to do inconceivable as well. Which means I'm not going to take as many points in EPKA. I understand that. At least right away. Ow. The cool thing about Gunzerker is you can do it all anyway. You know what I'm saying? Elephant Gun is cool. This. And it's reload. Animation. Pretty sick. Can we bypass by simply throw reloading? Know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna make sure everything I have is reloaded. Okay, and my bandit. Let's go ahead and throw reload or drop reload that. Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be horde round, sanctuary, raid boss, minigame. Oh, it's time. I think it could be time for our Twister to have a little bit of fun. A little bit of AoE for it. Make sure I have a path. You could also... I would... One one stage where I would definitely increase the amount of kills you need is the Horde round. 25. I think 25 might be good for Miners. A few other rounds, I feel like... It, I don't know. I think the Horde rounds are, are fun. And I think could be a little bit longer. Just look at how many enemies I have left. And the round just ends. Now, if if you were to give me God Mode status after completing the objective, but still have all the enemies stay in, that's fine. That's that's perfect. In fact, give me all the candies. Crash my game. <laughs> but a little bit of Pyrex candy to boot. Well, I didn't give it. I didn't give it justice before, so I might do it. Give it justice now. Let's let's take a gun that can oh launcher damage that's sick. Let's take a gun that can really make use of it. Madhouse. Do, let's do a little firework show. Okay, so this is the Madhouse base. You ready? Oh ho ho. That is sick. Taking screenshot after screenshot after screenshot. Let's go. Okay, make sure we take, take get our token of wealth here and grab our iridium. This is a big thing to do. If if you're ever not getting through this this game for whatever reason, this it, it, make sure you grab the iridium on this stage because it's broken. Okay, five or six shots, inconceivable. I want double grenage. Double grenage when I'm gun zerking. 
All right, Michael. This time, you better give me something good. Oh, sick. This guy's literally just me running around. Does he have my ears, too? That's so funny. Okay. Do I have a build around weapon? Yes, but I still want to hit the box. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the wackiest unkept herald you ever saw in your entire life. Please, anyone who knows parts, give me a break. Tell me this is the worst you've ever seen. I think it's a good, I think it's a good grip, though. Is that matching grip? I think so. Oh. Now, Thunderball Fist, listen. <laughs> no promises, LBs, in that. There we go. Actor's Paradise. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gonna rain. Okay, yep. We have build rounds. Let's go. First thing we do is we go max out pistol. And we need to be a little bit careful here. We want to go shotgun. But we need to go... Renages as many as we can. Back to shotgun. I think that worked out beautifully. Beautifully. What do we get? Okay, we get crawl. So, I think for crawl, we can have some fun. This beat is sick. We hit him with a twister. And you can come up with your own rhyme at the end, honestly. It's up to you guys. Um... What element is this guy when he hits you? Because I think I'll be chilling if I had to run this relic. Wish it was more damage, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm going to go this twister. Hopefully, slaggity lag lag. And try to one shot him. One thing I'm really missing is like a deputy's badge, which, which will become available to us. In, in tier 2, like the only thing in my mind in tier 2 is, is vault symbols, vault symbols, vault symbols. That's it. Pressure plates are kind of meh at this point. I mean, honestly, pressure plates are always probably worth at least checking out. But. Twister obviously will do great things, especially in tier 1 against Cromorax. Later. This, it just is what a doobie is right now against these guys. I could always swap to a Hector's Paradise, I think. I don't really want to have to go against any flying enemies. If I do, see, look at that. It spawns as an electrocutioner. I swear it's weighted. It's weighted to, to, to be strong against whatever you're using. Okay, the Pyrex candy comes out. Let's, 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 let's just swap, swap to it and see if we can use this grenade gun against the boss and... Yeah. We've been getting hit, hit up with a lot of Pyrex candies, and I think it's because I did it justice. What I need to do is I need to get a screenshot of the Pyrex candy drop. And make that my thumbnail. I've never seen so many Pyrex candies. It's true. It's my third one. Okay. Whenever Cross spawns back, I think we'll have the juice. Yep, free kill, thank you. I think that landed. Yeah, this mod is sick. I mean, it's it, it's still. Uh, what is it called? Gunfire Reborn is a fun game. But it doesn't match the, the overall atmosphere and gunplay. I think it's like, it's a, I think Gunfire Reborn is a little bit of a, I don't know if I would say it's, is better. But when it comes to like, me being an, a Call of Duty player who also enjoys PvE aspects of games and a Jolt's candy to boot. Okay. All right. He wants me to do it with corrosive grenades. Now he resists too much, bro. He resists too much. Here's what we do. Pause everything. Favorite that? Sure, why not? Do I have anything that is... I think this guy resists. Screw it.
Maybe we can hard force. I need to be guns erking right now. So I can get double effectiveness from these transfusions. Even sell the jolts candy. Can still get the job done. Come on now. Let's, let's talk business. Give me double shots. The candy's gone. It's gonna be come on. The final phase of it is gonna be all grenage. All transfusions. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Do it with a launcher. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't do any damage. You really gotta be using shotguns this guy, to be honest with you. Be very honest with you. Okay, another Snyder. Keep it we keep it moving, we keep it pushing, we keep it past. We never let up, we never give up, we make it last. The Transformer is awesome. Love that for us. Hmm. Yes, it's better in every way. <laughs> okay. Any other scattered loot? This is a great time to take a picture of this candy. This is sick. How can we take a picture of this? Let's go into photo mode. Pow. So, I think I might want to just take a photo of just this side. Pow. And then I'll put that borderland symbol on this side, maybe. I like how that's bright. And there I am in the back. I am not messing around this round. No way. Put the twister on my back, too. I am not messing around. So sorry, you guys usually don't get don't get brought into this part of it. Um, but if you if you're a real one, you know, like this is how we do things out out here. So we get to do a little bit of a display. I don't. Okay, so the Patriot is it's a Seraph sniper rifle that's a Vladoff, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's supposed to be really really good, but. The damage just isn't there. Like if we do a compare, it's real quick. Just bear with me. Like you guys know, like I this is what I do. I will I will sit here and compare. Let's let's put it against a a droog. Do I have a non-elemental droog somewhere? I think I have a droog somewhere. Okay, fire droog. has a five fire rate and its damage is lower but it's not lower because if you use it against the right type of enemy this fire one will be much much higher it could be competing with the damage values it won't be as high but the fire rate will push it past so the slag droog even the slag droog which um is used as a way to slag enemies and then they will be taking additional damage. In base game, slagging gives you times four damage. So you can take this damage value from this uh, slag droog, multiply it by four, and that's what it's giving you. If that, if I'm, if I'm getting that correctly, which is going to be much higher than this patriot with a higher fire rate and better accuracy and reload speed. The the, the patriot doesn't do anything, as far as I'm aware. So it's like, why does it even exist? You know what I'm saying? Non-elemental resists. It's a decent, but probably won't end up using it long term. Okay. Let's do a quick loot collection. This iridium actually matters now. Iridium is a, is a commodity because you have to you have to sacrifice in the end to the. Rock nozzle gods. Your iridium. And say, please. Please give me a. Oh, there's a peak opener. Holy cow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an assault rifle. And I boost its accuracy. And its magazine. And its, and its max carry capacity. But I didn't invest in assault rifle SDU. 
So tier two is gonna be a struggle if I think if I think peak opener is gonna be what carries me. It's not. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Class mod decision making is always, it always comes down to the very small nuances. Magazine size is insanely big, 53%. Salvador is is the best vault hunter in the game by far, like by far. Once you get rolling, like because your your damage output and sustain is very very strong. I believe his weight is the same as the other characters, so he's still as susceptible to knockback and CC. But... Because he can sustain so much utilizing the Grog Nozzle, I think Salvador just becomes the strongest Vault Hunter by far. Oh, just the OG puzzles. Let's go. The new the newer one of this one is sick I, the only thing i know i'm asking for a lot of patches is the for the background not to be white and instead it was just it was a dark background and they were like in, instead of being just all white is you put a blue platform on the bottom or like a dark platform on the bottom and, and you just make little wall lines so it looks like it's a big room instead of just white background because you kind of get a little bit of like boom flash bang out but I, I, but I, overall, I do like the white aesthetic. To be honest with you, but I think I would like it more than what I what I described. Okay, so the Grand Titan class mod. Already, we're seeing purple guns and stuff, which which I like. What's up, Butt Stallion? The, these these quotes are still goaded, kinda. As you progress, loot rewards will get better. See. I was thinking, and I, I was like, I feel like we just got something pretty, that was pretty decent. Relics, exactly what we're looking for. Launcher and sniper, max ammo. So we have a peak opener. I'm not. Listen, this is something that I've I've come to terms with myself. <laughs> it's like you always just spam peak opener. You you spam peak opener. Um, did I spam? Did I spam peak opener in my last video? No, did not. On my gauge video, did I did not spam peak opener? So, oh, actually, that that actually comes in handy in, in a moment like this where I'm going to be going against mostly loaders. But how about we do this? We start with peak opener, and I say when we stop, because this gun rocks. <laughs> no, say it rocks. You know what? Let's let's juice it up even more. Assault rifle damage. Now, that being said, I think the explosive. Oh, you guys did something to yourselves. So the assault rifle damage is going to make the initial explosion better. I can make the follow-on grenades better by putting on the explosive damage relic. But I kind of just want to rip them off, like distance off the initial shot. You know what I'm saying? What I want to do for now. I could swap it up if I need to against like a tankier enemy, but I don't think I need to right now. I got peak opener, baby. And the best part about peak opener is that it's a torg. It's 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 an ogre and a shred of fire combined. That's what it is. Boom. It's and a blaster. To to be honest, it's a blaster and a shred of fire. It's anything you could you could possibly want. Last longer and lay waste. It's making a case for for the best. But plus six locked and loaded and plus five money shot. I honestly think probably goes hard hardest. The cocky raider probably goes hardest. Like oh yeah, but what about your reloads? Hmm. You know you got me there. I don't mind dropping the first mag.
I don't mind dropping the first mag and then, you know, going from there, especially if I feel confident in my build, which I do right now. The bandit launcher, you hate to leave it, but I think I already have something that has its has its role on the team, but better, which is a sad thing. It is a green weapon. Don't feel as bad about it. I think divergent likeness is something that I might be interested in. Yeah, so I can get better accuracy with my assault rifle because I'm rocking a, a bandit SMG secondary. It's all about it's all about the secondaries. It's all about your, which, your left hand. It's that is your support weapon. I was looking at that umbrage, but it's shock. It's not slag. So I think divergent likeness is something I'm going to invest in right now. One gun's working with two guns of the same type. You'll deal bonus damage. Gun damage. One gun's working with two different types of guns. You gain bonus accuracy. That's something I'm very interested in. Because now my peak opener has a very small reticle as opposed to before. I'm much more accurate now. Which is important. Let's put it to the test. This is a hard stage. I might have to invest a little bit into some explosive damage on this stage. Torque Bomber usually gives you a little bit of time. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm in very much danger right here. I tossed a grenade out. That's going to help me. But I'm in danger of chain dying or chain going down. So let's just reload and play it smart. Heal up. I don't have a heal gun yet. It's, it's a big problem that I'm having to deal with. I do have double transfusions though. So let's just start chalking these out. Somebody's on the, on the fringes over here. I just need somebody to land. I don't want to have to be shooting above me, in my face. I seem to take the engagements on my terms. That's what I'm saying. Do you have an attack? Or do you just fly around? That's your attack. Okay. Work bomber, I can just peacefully coexist with it. You guys' attack is just landing. Oh, I'm stuck. Gotta be careful with that. Let's just, let's just use... I, I probably should have just had my fastball out, to be honest with you. But I'm having fun doing gunplay. I, I don't know if... The fastball... I don't know if I could spam it enough. There we go. Just create carnage. Create chaos. Well, let's draw... Let's go to... Like yippee ki yay or said she goes Re reduces recoil with both guns while guns working and, uh, additionally each shot that hits an enemy has a chance to improve your accuracy with both guns very cool all right what about get some what does this do shooting an enemy decreases your guns working cooldown this effect can only occur once every three seconds well i know for a fact that i, and I know I'm, I'm leaving yippee ki yay kind of in the dust here this is what it is that Keep it piping hot, can proc, get some. Okay. And I'm, because I, I took so much time on tier one doing farming, I this this tier I'm kind of pushing a little bit faster. Okay. I haven't had to reload yet, but that's okay. Now that I've reloaded, should be much stronger. Just focus on DPS and hope to, out, to kill them before they kill you, Gunzerker. It's not until you get yourself a grog nozzle or a ruby or share may or something that you can start feeling good about your defense unless you go really hard right side tree which in that case you're giving up damage so you make your choice it's that is that is guns are in a nutshell i chose this to immediately go right side tree and i didn't invest too heavy into it though and i had some i had some help along the way with some luck and some loot 
a, a first round infinity was pretty nice. I didn't use it for that long. I, I transition. Wow. I'm the goat. Alright. I'm the goat. It's like, uh, have you ever killed Veracitus or... No, listen. You, you got me confused with a tryhard. <laughs> I'm a casual. I'm a casual. You dropped, kiddo. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. We're ready to just keep it moving. Let's go get some for one more. Keep firing. Okay, so now we're double capstone. Keep firing. While guns are the longer you hold on the trigger, the faster your guns fire and the faster you reload. The fire rate can get up to 88% and the reload speed can get up to 25%. That's really great synergy for us. I think two points should go into inconceivable. This now enables me to be money shot chaining all the time. Question is, do I want to have a kill skill? It's like a hidden kill skill because it's not shaped like a kill skill. Do I want to have it be Kaye? Yeah, I think I do. Just one point into it. I have a. I, this, this is not Rogue, Rogue Guns Mini where everything happens. When, when everything happens all at once, right? This this is more uh, spaced out. Rogue One's vanilla. Oh, later, kiddo. Oh, I'm, I can gun zerk though. While well, well, I'm fighting for my life, I'm still I'm still big bad gun zerker boy. Just sick. At this point, I don't know if there's a lot of enemies that could withstand a full broadside for me in fight for my life. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we go up, hit the fuse box. No, 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 no. I'm happy with myself though because I already grabbed that down there, but what I didn't grab was the banjo. Do you get a do you get an angle on the banjo from up here? I don't think so. Oh sick. Yes, this is the one I'm looking for. This is better for mobbing, I think. It gives you cooldown rate on your action skill. And it gives you last longer in your PKA. So you're not gonna get as much damage as you would typically get typically get from a money shot. But your money shots are so strong. Holy cow. Something hit me hard. Okay, can we, can we get a Pyrex candy? I'm begging you. Oh, there's our Grog Nozzle. We can keep our Iridium now. Yes. I was hoping that it would swap to the, a different weapon, but... Here we go. The Grog Nozzle then replaces the Band SMG. Goodbye, brother. Here. I will toss it. Bum, 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 bum. Pum 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 I'll see you later. Slag bandit SMGs, I'm telling you. Other way to go. Saturn. To kill Saturn, I will utilize my explosive damage and my corrosive fastball while I gunzerk and destroy him. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting any kill skills from this guy. You know what? I'm just going to take my asbestos now because I know I'm going to want to take it later. Yeah, I know when you hit this chest, it triggers the boss. I watched the Jolts videos. You want for me? Now I got my Grog Nozzle. And the grenades, the after effect grenades, are going to be massive now. Boom, now that's a firework show. 
All right, Pyrex candy me, Pyrex candy me. I need a screenshot. The thumbnail. I think there might even be a, like a wiki file for them. I'm not sure. That'd be sick. But, oh, getting your own assets is always better. Always better. And there's a lot of times it's easier. Dude, this combo is insane. You know what I'm saying? Insane. Rob plus peak opener. Alright, it's a high of Terramorphous. If I wanted to go a melee smack around Krieg style build, it that's when that shield becomes relevant. I don't know about Zero. I I don't really play melee Zero in Roguelands because Well <laughs> I think it's really bad. And it's not because... I'll collect my reward. Let's see. What's my reward? Toothpick or a Logan's gun? Okay. I go toothpick here. And it's, it's just because assault rifles are really, really good. I need to get rid of all these class mods. These titans. Something, a lot of this stuff. I just need my raiders. I still don't have a plus six mana shot on though, which is crazy. Getting the extra accuracy is a big deal. People, I don't, I think people kind of clown on accuracy when they shouldn't. When it comes to like weapon rankings and stuff like that. I think accuracy is a, a really, really big deal. Just like, look at, look at the accuracy of this peak opener. So. It's it's the it's the vertical it's the cardinal direction bars as I'm shooting. If I'm trying to kill enemies from far away, I need those bars to be as close as possible to each other. We're playing a shooter game. If I could have an, an ACR, like a MW2 ACR, with RPG damage, yeah, I would say that's amazing. And it's like, oh, can I also can I also achieve that while firing from the hip? Well, that's kind of the goal. It's not. That's, that's kind of the goal. And I've, I've, I'm rocking the class mod to make it happen. I got all the accuracy buffs. A Torg accuracy... Class mod might help out with that. Bro. You're really gonna make me do this. You're gonna make... You're gonna... No, this is your fault. I was just thinking about, as I'm running around, I'm not grabbing anything. I was thinking about the game of Risk 2210 AD that me and my my brother-in-law, my brother and my future brother-in-law were playing. All on different teams. Bandit stuff, that sounds kind of fun. If I get a really cool bandit weapon, I might do that. Okay, if Sheriff's Badge is great. It is great. Insanely good. I might switch to the Uncapped Herald because of it. I don't get any more points. But I think it might be time. I do... Yeah. Let's go Sheriff's Badge. Let's, they're called Classic Codes for a reason. Now, the Uncapped Herald isn't going to be as good as the Devil Penetrating Uncapped Herald. But it is going to make use of the I'm your Huckleberry skill and the... Man, is it really all I need is one? It's a really bad skill, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even take it. Oof, that is tough. No.
No, we're going back to the Raider. I think that's fine. Insight, money shot. Insight's a great skill. So we're playing a risk 2210 AD, and it's basically regular risk with the world world domination style. What is this madhouse doing in my inventory? Are you kidding me with this? It replaced my grog nozzle. And we'll have peak opener on backup. How about that? Let's go, baby. And because I'm firing two weapons at the same type, I get bonus damage instead of bonus accuracy, which, I mean, hey, fair trade off, brother. It's like, are oh, you going to take away my accuracy? Dang, that sucks. Well, oh, so you're going to give me something in return. Okay, what is it? Oh, we will give you bonus gun damage. Oh, sick. Like one of the stats I care about most. I'm doubling down on it right now on my class mod when I could be going explosive damage, which honestly... Or on my on my relic but it is what it is reload me Sick. And uh, we, we were playing, and I went into the middle of Europe. That was going to be my, my strategy. And my brother-in-law, he, he straight up targeted me. Like, I was going for Europe, and I had achieved all of Europe, okay? He, he already had all of uh, South America. And he could expand into the water. But instead of expanding into the water to compete against my brother... Who had already had conquered all of Africa, and I'm sorry that this I'm scared that all of what I'm saying is, is if you don't play Risk, this sounds really strange. Okay, it's it's the game of Risk. The, um, and he was expanding in the water. My brother and I were both equal threats, and my brother-in-law decided to attack me instead of my brother. In my, in my view, and I made that perfectly clear that I thought that's what happened. I told Ivan, <clears throat> this is your fault. This is your fault. Because my brother was just stacking up this massive army now. He, no one no one threatened his realm. And he's just... So I told Ivan, you have to now show me. He's like, he, I told him, because Ivan came to me asking for help. He's like, you have to help me against Steve. It's like, uh, no, I don't. I, I'm just going to have, I, what I have to do is hit you back on the border. Now. <laughs> you have to, and I said you have to prove to me that you will, are willing to attack him and he did and I backed him up I was there too so it doobie is what it is doobie I'm, I'm actually going to take I'm actually going to take this uh, this launcher and drop it and drop it forever And that way, when I swap weapons, I can always just swap between these two. Now we get to go. So I got attacked for literally no reason besides luck. I, yes, I had taken Europe and I was going to be getting five reinforcements on the next turn. Five bonus. And I could have, to be fair, I could have placed them all on his on my brother-in-law's border and it, and wiped him out. I don't know if that well, that's what I was going to do. I f I hadn't really made up my mind, so I I agree that it was a precautionary measure to make sure that I couldn't get my reinforcements. I did have a vulnerability in that spot. But for him to not at least stack up a little bit like on the border of my brother where he was just stacking up a massive force go and he was launching to the moon and he was spreading out across into the water because it's risk 2210. This guy is, he's, this guy is doing a lot of things. And I'm the one being targeted. All I had, I did have the biggest continent, but it was, 
it was a bit of a luck i think that part of it was a bit of a luck based so i did end up coming back and we did end up uh 2v1ing against my brother who thought he could hold his borders and he could not his 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 borders in africa fell his water campaign came to a bitter halt uh when he started getting contested for both sides in the water his offensive conquering in australia against my future brother-in-law um came, came to a stalemate really came to a stalemate he couldn't keep progressing he keep he i think he did under estimate what my future brother-in-law could could push out from an from an australian point of view so I made my stand in Europe because in the, in the very beginning of Risk 2210 AD, when you start playing, there's a nuclear sites. So certain countries on the map just get nuked and no one can go there. And so on the southern end of Europe, there was a nuclear radi radiation um, zone. There's no inhabitants at all. And that spot had bordered, I think, two different countries, but had three total... connections to other countries so i think it had like two for one country and one for the other it had a lot of borders it was it's a major site and so that's it's a big reason why you get five bonus re uh, reward units for taking europe is that spot it's very hard to keep on the southern end of europe where it connects with france i think maybe, not, maybe spain yeah i think we're connects with spain the southwest. So. I ended up in the very end of the risk game. Um, I went f I went first in the last term, and, and this game is really, really cool. Well, that's the reason I chose Europe. I chose Europe as my location to start in the very beginning, because we just, we got to choose our spots. I chose Europe because it had that spot, that radiation blast zone, which protected a lot of its borders that were previously undefended. So I did that. And by the way, it's just this mobbing is just out of control easy. Let's get a little bit of cooldown reduction. Fastball around the corner, maybe. We're going to chill out. Yeah, let's just get used to swap. Gragnos was hopping until we get drunk again. There we go. Now we're drunk. Now we get extra projectiles. Isn't that insane? By the way, so glad we're not fighting Oni. I could be rocking Toothpick or Peak Opener right now, but I'm using a single barrel uncapped Herald. This is for the fans. I still think it's pretty good. All right, I want to try something. I don't, actually, I don't think it'll be better. It won't be better. Let's just go do this. I need, I need a deputy's badge. That's what I want. Catch. Let's take care of the other guy first. Yep. Wait, no. Actually, no. If he puts me down, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm... Oh! Big mistake there. Leave one of them alive. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. This is the weapon I was, I was trying to use. Triketra. I think it's good for one-shotting. I think I have one already, though. I want to do a quick comparison. Ooh, no. So, let's see. Where's my other Triketra? Let's scroll down. It's blue. It's a, it's a shotgun. So, my other one has... A Torg grip. This is Torg grip. This is a. Let's just look at the, the damage numbers, honestly. The accuracy. Man, it makes me almost say. Yeah, this one has Hyperion. I got it. With, the, with a. It's Hyperion stock as well. Jacob stock. 
think the magazine size matters though a lot. Not really, I guess. Okay, we can move on. We're already an hour and a half in. Hey, this is what this is what it takes. Why is this band overkill in my inventory? Why is it why does this game always insist on doing stuff like that? How about drop it? Here we go. It's it's pretty good damage. You gotta you got give it up to it. It's trying its best to compete. But as far as... You know, DPM. Damage per minute. It's nowhere close. The rock saw it's like, I will do it. I will be the shotgun that you need. To be fair, I probably wasn't critting. I, and I do kind of, you know, that's a great fight for this. Oh, okay. Wow. This is actually a really tough choice. I mean, that looks like an insane, the good class mod or the Amigo Sincero, which has a really good niche use to let us crit. We don't need it. We'll, we'll shred the shield anyway. <gasps> we clicked it anyway. <laughs> Words will, words like this will never be spoken. <laughs> never, never be spoken. All right, kiddos. Can we get a Jolt, uh, a uh, Pyrex candy? Or is like, are, are we done giving out candies now? Ever since I said t in tier two, tier one, I'm getting a lot of candies. Not a single candy tier two. Come on, there's always candies. Yes, yes. Oh, there it lies. There it lies. Let's go to picture mode. Ladies and gentlemen. There it lies. Okay. Um, an ogre. Hey. Nice. It's going to go great with the cocky raider. And it's splash damage. Actually, let's do something cool. I mean, I'm already pretty committed to... Going to have a longer form video here. Let's do an ogre and a peak opener. Shred up the sky for just for a bit with a Pyrex candy. We down for that? Let's move this down a little bit. We just needed something to just take up the spot. How about a how about a, a whatever? Oh shoot! Never mind. We can just do. Will these explode? No, I don't think so. Not as cool as the madhouse. Oh, there we go. This is cool. It's like, <laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning, Whoville. Good morning. <laughs> Anybody around? <laughs> oh, that's, 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 um, that is terrible. <laughs> that's awful. Can I get some, can I get some good weapons now? We go around. This, I can't afford to lose. <laughs> I can't lose. I've got a reputation to consider. Yes, a plus six money shot. Mm. Is it worth losing the fire rate? Yeah, I think so. And as soon as I see all I need is one and these pistols, I'm like, I, I just don't spec it. I just don't spec it. This is much better. The unlucky cocky Raider class mod. I didn't roll money shot. All right. It's time. We hit up Sanctuary. We invest in Assault Rifle SDU. Michael, top near me. Four for four. There we go. Launcher as well. Shotgun. I don't think this is a sniper we would use at this point. T 
TD or Plasma Caster would be really hilarious. All right, let's roll. Okay, to the refinery we go. Um, what's our what's gonna be our method? Rag nozzle plus explosive is good here. Explosive is just a good element here in this fight. So I will rock this. Hmm. If I don't need healing, and I don't need slag. Do I really need the, the grog nozzle? I'm not sure. But I might want to give the ogre a try. Everything else can kind of just chill out in the back. The thing is, I, want, I only want to have three weapons. Every time I pick up a weapon... It messes with it. We go to my one slot. We swap, swap to Grog Nozzle. We go for some crits. We do massive damage to the boss. Which is crazy. We just give him, give him one of these to everybody as fast as we can. We get more alone time with the boss. The Corrosive Fastball is built for this fight. I'll be careful now for the ricochets. I don't have that much more time. Get ready. I'm just gonna get, get I'm gonna great for my second burst. Or did I do it too fast? Should get a shield back, right? Does, does he not have a shield back? Is he bugged out? I think sometimes if you damage him enough and you break some through some of these phases, it doesn't actually matter. Like these these robots don't actually matter anymore. The reason I'm trying to fire now is because now I don't really care about how much damage I take. So I have both guns up. Let's see, if that was a Droog, we can compare it to the Patriot, but I think it's time to get a move on. Tier 3 is Don's way, and I want to fight some dragons. Go shred a fire action for your life. There's no rule that says I have to go splash damage weapon. Okay, grab, grab, check inventory. Seraphim is deep, but we're not gonna end up using it because the toothpick is just better. Oh, that's why you always come over here. B, hey, what's up? That's pretty sick. Come down here and get a B shield. That's pretty sick. A layer of infinite agony. All right, hopefully it's the old one. It's the new one. Okay, here we go. I got. I have knowledge. I have knowledge. I got this. There's one. Now, the second one is confusing. I don't know if this actually works or not. No, it doesn't. Shoot. That's what I did last time, and it ricocheted as gauge and hit something important. Which is tough. So I'm thinking, where is this thing located? Uh, oh, there it is, pal. I'm keeping it on top of the pedestal, but it's not on top, it's just around the backside. This one? Come on, I remember. Yep. Skippity. Hoppity, zip, and then you jump over the. Yep, there we go. That's knowledge. Cool. Tier three unlocked. Let's roll. Is this going to be the longest ever run? It might be, but this is what this series is all about. If I'm going to make a guide or whatever, I'm gonna have to post that I I literally ran the gauntlet. Pop 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 pop. One death isn't bad. And I had I've had crashes. Crashes. Another B. Better recharge delay. In my opinion, it makes it better. Even if it has less amp damage. Whoa. I don't think I've then to this one. I 
I'm starting to I'm starting to come up with a theory. I need to get access to some enemies. So I have to go catch a ride. <laughs> I'm starting to get access access to some theories of how this bug that we are experiencing right now works. So right now we are outside the realms of the roguelands. Does that make sense? We are playing base right now, UVHM, OP. I'm not sure what OP level this would be. We're trying to run over these guys, farm them a little bit. But I don't want my my boat to die. Buff them up. I'm over. And then, if it's the same bug as last time, I think I might know how to get past it. Boing. This is actually pretty cool. Like, I kind of like this. Hey, don't die, don't die. Ah. At 9 out of 10. Just tell me there's one more worm. Yes, 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 yes. Shredifier Ogre. Ogre Redifier. <laughs> oh, Magic Missile or Hail? It's a tough choice, but I think honestly Magic Missile. Just a great grenade overall. It's okay. Now, sw let's, see if this, let's see if this bug happens again. Hater's Folly. Okay, wait. We're good. I think Tier 3 might always spawn you out of bounds for the first stage. I'm not entirely sure, though. And the B doesn't really make a lot of sense on Salvador, but it's more in the hopes of maybe it will happen. I don't, my shield doesn't really matter. The adaptive does make some sense. But not really, because I don't want a, a huge health pool. Because I'm more of a, a much more of a drain tank than an actual HP tank. These are actually not bad at all. Jacob's accuracy recovery is an important stat. SMG damage is good too, but I think the SMGs in the late game do kind of get a little bit outscaled besides the one from this DLC, the Firehawk. I haven't gotten into fight from our life a lot, so I'm, I'm not super sad about doing that. You have to get used to just doing this. Oh, I, I messed up my weapons, but I don't think it matters. I don't have any points to I'm your Huckleberry anyway. That's only for weak hand. I think I think both guns here are getting the sheriff's badge. Feels like they are. My grog nozzle is going like crazy. It's pretty funny. I don't mind it either. Go. Hovercraft skin. The blue shield. Okay. A chopper or a cowboy? If I was cowboy. I probably should be going for the the pressure plates, but honestly, I feel like we've got the engine. We get to just have fun now. We get to just have fun now. Ow, that hurt me, but not really. That's the best part. You get to just have fun. When you're playing Sal, and that's important. In Borderlands game. You know, a lot of times I get caught up in like, you know, trying to play the best possible game. But sometimes the best possible game is more, is all about how you get to the strongest point. And it's, yeah, I don't have a double penetrating. I'm kind of herald, but I have one step down from that. So let's just have some fun with it. Probably should be swapping to Grog in those situations. Swap to Grog in times of in times of distress because then I can just match missile probably my way out. Danger? Maybe. I, th I should be testing that now before I get to the dragons, honestly. 
Okay, let's check up here for this one right here. This is just the path I take. It's just natural to want to sprint up here. I just don't know where the uh, the hidden secrets are. Secret secrets are so fun. Tether their shale into their share with everyone. Shaled. <laughs> Until they end up on the shale. Ooh. Fancy. <laughs> the boom puppy. I don't know. I just want to go one game without having to fight this guy. Is that possible though? Is it even probable? I'm not too sure. Let's get it. We're going max damage. Hopefully, max healing. You know what? Sorry to the B shield. I like the B shield. I do. Let's let's just throw on the biggest adaptive that we got. There we go. That's gonna be a little bit better. I don't think a bigger health pool is a bad thing. If this guy's loot might fall off the edge. I'm nervous about killing him. I want him to move. Ow. Get on the test. Get on the test. Not a get on the test. Magic missiles, no kills. I got nothing better than what I got, what I'm shooting right now. No, 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 no. I live, I live, and I go down. Well, an hour and 47 minutes in, and we go down in tier three. It wasn't meant to be. This is a hard stage, and every time I, I get this stage, I'm like, this this is where it could end. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.